So the key, the real secret, uh, the basis of making a high-end wine, especially a very prestigious one and unique one like Amarone is, is actually vineyards. You need to have vineyards located in the highest spots in this beautiful Valpolicella area, meaning the higher you are up on the hills, the better is actually the quality of the grape. And those are the ideal ones to be used for Amarone. So we are up in the, one of the most prestigious uh, Cru single vineyards in the Valpolicella Classico area called uh, Concadoro. And in this prestigious vineyard, we actually produce Amarone primarily. So this is actually Corvina. What we call or consider the queen of the Verona grapes uh, is actually Corvina. Corvina is by far the most important one. And what does Corvina give to Amarone and the other wines? Structure, body, elegance. You could not make an excellent Amarone wine without having Corvina. Papà, com'è la Corvina quest'anno? La Corvina quest'anno è una nata meravigliosa. Perché vedi, la parte di maturazione, in puliti di butrite non c'è muffe, non c'è nacino intagato da muffe e da butrite. E il tempo ce lo permette per fare una grande vendemmia. È una scorza dura, ma è dolcissima. Lo gusta per l'appassimento, è dura, è sostanziale. So, what are we going to cook today? We are going to prepare today a duck breast yes. with uh, porcini mushrooms yes. and polenta okay. and foie gras. Sounds fantastic. Yes, Italian. Very, good. very Italian. Lovely. So, we're chopping the onions and preparing the sauce? Yes. Okay. Chop the onion. We are preparing the sauce. It's like uh, a jam. So, yes. we prepare it with the red onion, yes. sugar, and with Amarone Tommasi wine. Oh, of course. We prepare a very good sauce. Yes. Yes. Great. Amarone needs to go through what we locally call the appassimento method. Stiamo facendo la fase di lavorazione delle uve per l'appassimento per l'amarone. Una curvina meravigliosa di questa nata per un appassimento di 100 giorni per l'amarone classico Tomasi. So rather than picking them and crushing them right away, as you would do with all the other worldwide wines, the grapes dry for 100 days with air circulation. Grapes that are usually laid down on large bamboo racks. So it's going to be quite sweet from the sugar and also from the onions, I yes, suppose? Yes, it's going to be quite yes. sweet Yes. because uh, this, is, uh, this is very tasty for the duck. Yes. So now we start to cook the duck. Lovely. Take the pan. Yeah. Now uh, it's very important. Yes. The pan must be very, very hot. Yes. To have a crispy, crispy skin. Okay. Yes. A little oil in the pan. Just a little bit because the skin is very fat. Yes. I cook it in the pan yes. and then because I I like the the breast pink inside. Yes. Okay. So if we need just a little bit in the oven, but this is very thin so it's not a problem. No. It sounds great. Sounds great. Smells great. Yes. It's important to do this yes. to have all the skin yes. very crispy. Yes. <laughs> 